Log into your Google domains and select the domain that you want to create a business email address. I have mine open. This is my domain. Now select the email option on the left side. This is where we're going to create an email address. This method works well if you are the only one in the company and don't want to pay for Google Workspace. Welcome to Stuffbox. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a business email address and set up your personal Gmail account to send and receive from it. Click Add Email Alias. This is where we're going to create support at caninternationaltravel.com. And then for existing recipient email, you want to put your personal Gmail here. Then click Add. If the personal Gmail account that you're using owns that domain, then you don't need to verify it. But if you are using a different email address, you'll get a message that this email won't work unless it's verified. So go to the personal email account that you used and you'll see this verification email. Click verify my email now. And that's it. You can now use that email address that you created. We can test if this works. I'm going to log into my other personal Gmail account. This is stuffbox01 at gmail.com. We're going to compose an email and send an email to support at caninternationaltravel.com. We'll just put this subject email and click send. Now if I log into my stuffbox02 email address, I should see that email support that we sent. And if we open this email, you can see that this is addressed to support at caninternationaltravel.com. Now the next thing you want to do is create a label for all these emails that's coming in. This way, if someone emails you on this business email alias that you created, it will be labeled properly. So click the label icon and then click Create New. Name your label and then click Create. We're also going to create a filter. So click these three dots and then filter messages like these. So you want to remove this and then under 2, put in the email alias that you created. Then click Create Filter. Select Apply the Label and then choose the label that you created. You can also choose to skip the inbox if you want to automatically archive it or mark it as read. Then click Create Filter. We can test this again. So I'm going to go to my other email address and then send another test to support. And then go back to our support email address. And if I refresh this page, I see that email. As you can see, that email is automatically labeled. And if you only want to see all the support emails, click the label on the left. Now the next thing we want to do is create a way so we can reply from the email that we created. So if I do reply all, this is coming from my personal email address. So to do that, click this icon on the top right and then select Manage Your Google Account. Click Security and then under Signing In to Google, you should see Two-Step Verification and the App Password. If you don't have Two-Step Verification set up, set that up first before you set up an App Password. It will ask you to log in again just for security and then create your App Password. So for Select App, click Other and type Gmail. Make sure you type Gmail because sometimes it doesn't work if you don't put Gmail. Click Generate and then now it will give you this password. Copy it and then go to your email account. Then click the cogwheel. Click See All Settings. Look for Accounts and Import tab. And then click Add Another Email Address. Type the email address that you created. Adjust the name if you have to and then click Next Step. For SMTP server, type in smtp.gmail.com, leave the port to 587, and then for username, put your personal email address, and then on the password, this is where you want to paste the app password that we created. Leave the secured connection using TLS, and then click Add Account. Then you'll get an email confirmation. If you got this far in the video and you're getting useful information, please let me know by clicking the like button. Go back to your inbox and check for that email confirmation. You'll notice that there's a security alert that you created an app password. You should also see the send mail confirmation. Then click this link to confirm the send mail setup. Then click the confirm button. You are now properly set up. We can test this by going back to our inbox then reply back to one of the emails that we tested. 
So I'm going to hit reply. And from here, you have to select the drop down and select the email that you created. And then hit send. If we go back to the StuffOx01 email, I'm going to refresh this page and open it. If we look at the details on this email, you'll see that it came from support at caninternationaltravel.com. Now, if you want to sign up for Google Workspace instead and want to know how to set it up, I have a video on how to set up and sign up on Google Workspace. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment below if this video was helpful so I know if I should make more videos like this.